TDNI. do a review of a knife that I've been wearing for a while now um, an old guy taught me this trick or taught me about this knife this is the K bar TDI it is a um, a knife that I wear on my belt on my inner belt and my belt um, for when somebody grabs uh, let's say my gun that's on my right side I can pull this out of the sheath with my left hand and uh, help Get that person off my gun. I mean, pretty much. It's a, I call it a get off me fool knife. The original case comes with a big metal clip here you can add to your belt. Um, what I did instead is I put this other piece that came with it so I can loop my belt through it and wear it on the inside of my left hip. On the outside of my left hip, sorry. Uh, but this is um, a pretty well designed knife. I mean, it's K bar. They have a serrated edge and the straight edge. A little thumb grip up here. It fits really nicely in the hand, reverse or regular grip. But what I'm going to do, oh, I'm sorry, what I did was I set up a um, a board outside with a balloon representing a threat. And I'm going to compare how fast it is to get this knife out when you need it for emergency versus, say, like a regular pocket knife. Like my Smith & Wesson um, M&P knife has a little you know, open assist. Or the Smith & Wesson SWAT knife, which is just a regular knife you have to do with your thumb. Manual. But what I did is I went out on the back porch, um, my big deck. Girls love big decks. And I uh, set up a board representing a threat with balloons. Uh, somebody grabs your gun, pull a TDI, TDI, TDI knife out, and you pop the balloon representing you, you cut the threat. And then I tested out some other knives, a regular folding knife, and then even this assist knife, and then compared the times. Um, and it, it, you know, really don't have to compare it because truthfully, to pull straight out a fixed blade and go to town with your left hand is a lot faster with this K-Bar knife uh, versus uh, my reaction hand with these, it's just a whole lot tougher. I, I guess if I practice, 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 I could probably learn to get these out with my left hand, uh, undo them and then go, but that's too many motions when I can just pull out and go. Traditional knife, somebody grabs your gun, you have to pull out and go for it. What I'm going to do is test the speeds of each type of knife. Left hand, right hand, mechanical knife, uh, this knife here. And we're just going to test it out and see what happens. All right. This is a threat. MMP knife with the assisted on it. Let's try it out. Smith and Wesson. SWAT knife, you have to physically pull it open. It has no assist on it. TDI, they make a, a, a knife this size, like we have here, these out of the way. And like I said, in serrated and regular. And also they make a larger one, more military, I think. Knife right there. Uh, I got the serrated edge on this one. Uh, difference is this case is for a belt loop, but also comes with a big metal clip. Versus this little case here that comes with the uh, molly attachments. 
And all this is is you'd button it and then the Velcro would stick to it. As you can see, it's got some wear and tear on it. I have wore this knife for about 10 years now uh, on my belt. But it's one solid piece, full tang, polymer handle, uh, logo right there, K-bar, fits real nicely into the hand. You can really go down with this. If somebody, uh, it's a quick reaction knife. And the same with the military one, the larger version. It's a little heftier, a little bigger. Uh, same thing though. But with these knives, it's just an extra line of defense for yourself. If, you know, somebody goes for your gun behind your back, you clamp down your gun, pull these knives out, and take it to their ass. Maybe thank yourself. I don't carry a knife on me, Ash. I carry a ninja sword. So let's try that one. <laughs> oh, better than expected. <laughs> 